won a game full time. Aston Villa 2, Crystal Palace 0. Aston Villa earned themselves the vital three points in their quest for Premier League survival. Trezeguet scores the two goals, but most important of all, let's go and see what the passionate Aston Villa fans have to say. Come on, the Villa! Uh, you know, never going to complain over three points. Never going to complain over that. Um, best performance in a very long time. Uh, you know, we thoroughly deserve to win that game, which you don't get to say very often, if at all. So, you know, it's encouraging to see. It's positive to see that there's still fight left in us. However, as I've said before, it's too late to rely on our own. We have to rely on Watford, West Ham, how they get on. So while it's encouraging, we still have to accept the fact that we're still not out of this yet by a long shot. We a must-win game and we have actually delivered. We've got a win out of nowhere. Um, you know, you can still say that the hope is alive. Is this Smith's great escape? I mean, we're still going down, um, but you never know what will happen. It's the hope that's going to kill us in the end. Um, but in terms of the game today, amazing that we've got three points. You know, that puts four points behind uh, Watford. And considering Watford and West Ham are playing next, you know, there's a good chance we can still catch up there. Just got to hope one either team wins, preferably West Ham for me. Um, Performance-wise, I thought we were all right. He looked much better than past games. I think it helps in hand with uh, Crystal Palace just not performing to the capability that they are. We were a totally, totally different team, like that team. Just, where did it come from? Like, it felt like we was fighting, we was fighting for something. Like, it could have been 3, 4, 5 now to Aston Villa, but I'm happy with three points. I'll take the three points. And our performances for me, Trezeguet's man of the match, you know. I've cr I've been a big criticise, um, criticiser of him with his time here. I think overall he's really improved his game today. He looked very calm, very um, controlling of the ball when he had to score the goals. Um, but I thought overall he was really a step up from him. I mean this game, again, I can't fault any player. I can't not fault any of them. I think the starting line of that time should be against... Everton, I think Almo did amazing. I think Trezeguet did amazing. Target. It's just it... Grealish. I thought was probably the best he's been at in a little while. He looked more relaxed. He looked more comfortable on the ball. Uh, McGinn still doesn't look fully up to scratch. I thought Douglas Louise again. You know, putting the shift in, winning that ball back, putting the effort in to try and, you know, get the second ball, get these passes, tackles in. So I think he's probably been our most consistent player since we've come back from lockdown. And I think whatever happens, whether we stay up or we go down, we need to try our best to keep a hold of him. Because I think he's definitely got the uh, a potential to be like the like foundation of this team. Defensively, we looked much better. Still not perfect with Mings. There was one or two sloppy moments there. Um, obviously, it was unfortunate to lose House during the warm-up of the game, but it was almost a nice, refreshing change to see Konza go into the centre-half whilst bringing in Al Mohamedi to play on the right. He did very really well there. You know, overall, you know, yeah, I'm obviously happy about the result, but still a long way to go. And only so much we can do. we just got to sit back, try and enjoy what's left of the season and just keep the faith, hope that the boys, you know, can manage to pull an upset or two. Over to next, looking very positive there considering the performances they've been having. But overall, could this finally be Smith's great escape? Is this finally going to be the moment that Aston Villa break through and secure their place in the Premier League next season? Who knows? We just got to keep watching, aren't we? Three points. I'll take the three points. It's just between Watford and West Ham. Either of them to win. I'm not bothered. But yeah, roll on Everton. Let's come on, three points. Is it going to be the great escape? Who knows? Up the villa. Come on. Right, guys, I'm just going to give you my thoughts before you hear from Basic Ben. I'm here to give you the outro, as usual. Um, I thought it was a great performance all round. I don't know how much that goes to how poor Palace War was or just how brilliant side we were as a work rate right in today's squad. I feel like, um, you know, we can really build on from this. Could there be a great escape, as many people alluded to in the video? Um, who knows, it was pretty pretty spectacular if Dean Smith can lead us to Premier League safety. We've got Everton next, of course, um, and if we can win that game, then you know we'll feel a lot more comfortable. Um, however, we are still relying on, relying on other teams' results, um, but today was a massive help towards that.
uh, quest in Premier League survival. In terms of pre uh, stand up performers, I, th I thought Trezeguet was outstanding and of course scored the two goals. I mean, I've seen that coming for the last couple of weeks, to be honest. Um, I thought he'd always, against Liverpool, he was decent, um, and a few other games he's been fairly um, decent in the final third. So it's good to see Trezeguet get a couple of goals. Um, the first goal just it, Trezeguet scored a lot of goals like that this season, um, typical of Trezeguet, and then um, second goal, just pure class from him. He could have got a hat-trick in the end, but uh, Keenan Davis and Trezeguet both tripped over the ball. But brilliant performance by him, by him overall. I did think Samata was a little bit quiet today, um, struggled to get a rhythm in the game, really. But it's three points, that's all that matters, and we move on to Everton. You're now going to hear from B6 Ben, but from me, up the villa. All right, so Aston Villa to Crystal Palace. Now, it's excellent. There's no other way to describe it, really. It's just been absolutely excellent today. Um, very good result. First clean sheet see, um, since Sheffield United. Our second clean sheet of 2020. <laughs> so, our um, third win in 2020. League win. Fourth win total of 2020. United's a very good record. And we've become the... First side in Premier League history to have, well, sec second side in Premier League history to have won a match on every day of the week after United beat us on Thursday. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just, yeah, mental how we've somehow managed to win on every single day of the week. Uh, that's a pretty good record, in my opinion. And, um, yeah, we're still not out, you know, we've got winnable games left, you know, Everton, West Ham, Arsenal might be a bit tough, but, you know, we've got to hope that, um, we've got to hope for a win for either Watford, Watford or West Ham if we do win against Everton. Uh, we've got to hope for one for either anyway, um, in case we do beat Arsenal, but, yeah, we've just got, got to really push ourselves forward for this one, you know. Yeah, but it's uh, been very good, created a lot of chances, just an excellent game, excellent game. Rainer was insane, we were insane, 2 0 win, up the villa. Anyways, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe to Jude down below. Also hit a like and go through all of Jude's links, follow his social medias, whatever. Yeah, anyway, that's all from me and Jude. Cheers, goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and follow my journey to the media world. Click the video choices on screen to see more of my work.